This is your What's in the News report and announcements and events taking place here at Olivet. Good day, everyone. I'm Anthony Brown. Thank you for tuning in to OIBC News for Sunday, January 19, 2020. Let's get started. The word on the street is you don't want to wait until the last minute to secure your tickets to see Maafa. Here's a quick behind the scenes look of the rehearsal process. Through drama, song, and dance, this production that is written and directed by Terrence Spivey will show the great tragedy, calamity, and disaster of the transatlantic slave trade and the aftermath through the eyes of a 10-year-old. Get your ticket now following each worship service in the O.M. Hoover Center or purchase online at www.oibc. Maafa2020.com Maafa, let the healing begin. We need you. Yes, you. The person who likes to inspire children. We need volunteers for the Promised Land program and we're looking for some enthusiastic team members to teach children about the Bible and help them develop a relationship with God through Christ. Now for more information, I need you, yes you, to touch base with Reverend Evan Wilson at the service. Now, if you don't see him sitting up here in the pulpit, then he may be already in the lower level working with the children. He can certainly use your help. Parents, while you're worshiping in the sanctuary, your children can worship with Promised Land and the Heal every Sunday in the lower level at 945. Promised Land is for grades pre-K through 5th grade, and The Hill is for grades 6 through 12. Contact Reverend Edmund Wilson III for more information. A quick snack after worship service to hold you until lunch or dinner. The basketball and cheer ministry will have their concessions open on Sunday, January 26th, following the first and second services. I'm sure they will appreciate the support. Parents, there is still time to register your child ages 12 through 15 to be part of the Rites of Passage ministry. This fantastic 13-week ministry is created to expand their knowledge of cultural awareness and broaden the ancestral horizon. Pick up an application at the reception desk. All completed applications are due Friday, January 31st, 2020. There are a few quad spaces still available for the 2020 Women of Olivet Spiritual Retreat. The cost will be $200 per person for an occupancy of four women. The cottages are two bedrooms, one bath, and a full kitchen. Please stop by the retreat hospitality desk after first and second service for more details. The Women of Olivet, woo, is certainly living their best life through Jesus Christ. The Hands of Praise ministry is made up of those who can hear and hearing impaired that love to share the gospel by signing the music. They minister at churches, in the community, and at other events. We are seeking recruits for this great and unique ministry. Signing experience is not necessary. All ages are welcome. Please contact Sister Betty Bridgewater at BA Bridge. 9 at gmail.com for further information. Are you a formally trained instrumentalist or vocalist? Do you read music? Would you like to use this training for a special project here at Olivet? If so, please contact Dr. Damon Dandridge at ddandridge at oibc.org with your contact information and music resume. God, Deaconess Clarice Thomas, celebrate her 91st birthday on January 18th. Happy birthday. Congratulations, Brother Richard and Sister Rhoda Smith, as they celebrate their 51st 
wedding anniversary on January 25th. Happy anniversary. If you want to be important, wonderful. If you want to be recognized, wonderful. If you want to be great, wonderful. But recognize that he who is greatest among you shall be your servant. That's a new definition of greatness. By giving that definition of greatness, it means that everybody can be great. Because everybody he inspired us in words, but he led us in deeds. To honor him, let's do the same. Go to mlkday.gov and find out how to volunteer on Martin Luther King Day and beyond. This message is brought to you by the Corporation for National and Community Service. For watching OIBC News with all of your latest church news, events, and announcements taking place right here at Olivet. We'll see you next week.